Hi everyone, I am shockingly back with another video. So today I want to talk a little bit about, mostly about plotter. So this is a plotter and I'll get into that shortly. Um, well actually I should probably give you an overview of plotter first. So this is a plotter which is a ring bound notebook or planner system. Uh, it's based out of Japan, but they have recently, as of late last year, I think, opened a U.S. online store. Um, and I got into it through um, various pen forums online. Um, so I'm just going to show you what my plotter looks like. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about other planners and how I arrived at the decision to buy a plotter. So plotters are super classy, I think. Um, they have this spine on the back, and it is a ring-bound system. Um, and the rings are 11 millimeters, and that's the first really big difference. I'm pretty sure these Krauss rings, which are kind of the Rolls-Royce of rings, if you will, um, but they're only 11 millimeters in internal diameter. Uh, most rings will start at this size, will start at 15 millimeters in diameter and some of them will go way up to like 20 and 25. The bigger the diameter the more content your planner or ring binder will hold. Plotter is a very minimal idea, minimal concept um, and so they keep it thin and it, it gives the, the binder a low profile, makes it easy to fit in a pocket, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, I'll just go through what I've got in mind. Um, so I've got some monthly layouts that I actually made myself for now. I did buy the plotter monthly layouts, which look like this, um, but they only start in 2023, so for the rest of 2022, I'll be using um, fill, refills or fillers that I've made myself. Um, so I've got a monthly, and then I go into my weekly um, pages and I've actually got plotters weekly, uh, excuse me, their bookmarker, page finder, whatever. It just has a little tab on it um, to help you find your place. So I put this in the middle of my weekly layout. I made these weekly views because I couldn't find one that I wanted. I only use this for work. I don't do any weekend planning in this um, or I might just make a note about one thing that we're doing. I don't, I know a lot of people do planning on the weekend, I'm not one of those people. So I really just need Monday through Friday and then like a spot for weekend stuff. So that's what I've done. I've got a week on two pages, Monday through Wednesday on the left side. And then in the middle, I put um, an ongoing to-do list. So this is like stuff that doesn't necessarily have a deadline, but that I need to get done at some point. And I like plotters to-do list because they have this sort of progress bar that you can use if you want to. So I know that these are started but not finished. I know these two items are finished and this one I stopped uh, because it got sent to somebody else. Um, so that's plotter to-do list. And then I add a page for notes. And when I finish a note page, I'll move it back to the very back of the plotter um, until I run out of room or if I need to remove things and then I'll move them to a, another holding book, which I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, I have a note page I don't take a ton of notes for work, so this is sufficient for me. Um, and by the way, this is a, a mini size plotter, which is the six ring or it's comparable to a pocket size and other brands. They do make bigger ones. So if you feel like you need a bigger notebook space, they do make them. They all have the 11 millimeter rings though, just so you know. Um, so this is the second half of my weekly layout. I've just got Thursday, Friday, and then I've got a block for the weekend, which is plenty of room for me. Um, so that's my weeklies, and then after my weeklies, I have my pen holder. Um, this fits my Uniball 1 pen perfectly. It also fits this thicker Jetstream pretty well. Um, it will fit my Coletto 4, uh, four color refill pretty well. Where we start to run into trouble is like the fatter fountain pens. Uh, these don't fit so well in the pen holder. Um, if you had a thinner fountain pen, I'm thinking of like the Pilot Cavalier, which coincidentally is my first fountain pen. Uh, Pilot Cavalier would fit in here pretty well. Pilot uh, Platinum Preppies will fit in here. Fit in here. So uh, Caveco Lilyput absolutely fit, fits in here. Um, so anyway, 
it's not a super fat pen holder, but it will do the job for your most average pens and maybe your thinner found pens. Um, and on the back side, I've got my Hobonichi um, template clipped because I use this um, on my weekly pages. Let's see if I have any in here done already. So you can't tell it here, but I use it to put little boxes on my weekly layouts. That's the only reason I use this template is for the boxes here. Um, I've made my grid on my weeklies to match the Hobonichi size grid. So um, the template fits perfectly on these grids. So that's that's that little system. And in the back here, I've just got some empty note pages. Um, these are from Aaron Ware's Patreon, if you're interested in, uh, in those. I haven't used them yet, but I thought they'd make cute little list pages. So I just stuck those in. And then I've got some little like extra memo pages. These are from Courtney Diaz of Little Raven Ink. And I've just cut them out and put holes in. This is from Aaron Ware. Aaron Ware. And then these pages are half size pages. And they're just for extra little notes if I feel like I need to fit those in. And at the end I have a zip pocket with a few stickers. And then this is the lifter with closure. So the plotter system, as I said, it's very minimal. And the way that they add a closure, if you want one, is they attach it to the top of a lifter like this. So when you close your notebook, you can put your band on it like this and it keeps your notebook closed. So that's a super fast overview of my plotter, which I love, I'm really enjoying. But I wanted to explain how I got there because the plotter is not inexpensive. It's, it's an investment. And I wanted to make sure that the ring system would work for me. So what I did is I actually went on Amazon and bought a pair of cheap rings that were the same. Um, the rings are the same dimensions in these, but the rings are bigger. So these are 15 millimeter diameter, whereas the plotter is 11. But these did the job for me. So basically, um, I bought a piece of leather and I bought these rings off Amazon, as I said. And I basically put together my own plotter. So I even made my little, I even made a little closure lifter. Um, and I made my own inserts and I added a pen loop. So here's the pen loop. Um, and I used this for about a week. And... Um, what I found was that these screws, they sort of catch on my papers like this, and it was really bothering me. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. It was it was starting to tear at my paper and it was irritating me, and, and I knew that the plotter didn't have that problem. So that was my first deterrent from this one. Um, and so I also tried this one. And so this is a pocket-sized leather cover from Chic Sparrow in the Emma colorway from the Austin line, I think. <laughs> it's changed. Uh, anyway, it comes with its own pen loop, which I really enjoy. And so what I did is I took the strings out completely. Now, on YouTube, there are tutorials for how to put rings in strings. So if you search for well, planner or personal or something like that. If you search for rings in strings, you'll come up with tutorials for how to do that without removing the strings. But in this case, I really didn't mind. So you can see this is where, this is where the strings were attached. I literally untied the string and pulled it out. No problem for me. I did leave in the elastic closure and so that knot is kind of hidden behind the rings there. So what I did is I just basically fashioned a way to, uh, this is actually actually elastic thread, a one millimeter elastic thread, I think. And I just sort of figured out a way to wrap it around that would hold the rings really pretty tightly, but give them a, an, a little bit of movement in case they needed to move. Um, and this actually worked really well for me. So I actually went back into this until my real plotter came. Um, so you can see the rings work great. Um, yeah, so I had all of my planner stuff in here and I used this for another week to test before I bought an actual plotter just because I wasn't sure the ring system would work for me. I think this is a great option for someone who really can't spend the money on a plotter or can't justify it. 
if you have one of these sitting around already. I know that's kind of an oxymoron because an oxymoron, is that the right word? They the idea is contrast because these are almost expensive as plotters, but if you happen to have one of these sitting around, you could absolutely do this for the cost of these rings. And these are, I think I bought two for $7.99 on Amazon. So um, definitely a super affordable way to do this. And I had no problems with using the rings in this binder like this. Um, so actually this is going to become my sort of holding, holding notebook. So as I need to move things out of my plotter to make space, so like weeks that have passed that I don't need to reference anymore, I'll put them in this binder for now. Plotter does sell like a, it's kind of a book looking thing where you can store refills and old content and things like that. Um, it's like $25 for the mini size. It's not hugely expensive, but um, I didn't really feel like I needed it. I may get one in the future, but for now, this is where my old content is going to go. Um, and I just, I really, I like, it's not quite as minimal as the plotter. So you can see here, I mean, the plotter is just, it's sleeker because these rings are so much bigger. But, I mean, it's super cute. I, I would not be opposed to using this. Like, it's really cute. So I really like that one. And um, the other thing I wanted to show you is I do have a hobby of making my own planners in the ever continuing saga of searching for planner piece. So this is a planner I made earlier this year. Um, and it's just a soft cover planner and you can see the layout here. So I have the five days of the week and then the weekend and then a page for notes. Um, the issue that I had for this with this is that if I, if I didn't use the notes page, I felt like I was wasting paper. And if I, if I needed to carry over a to-do list, like I'd put my to-do list over in this corner, but then I'd have to rewrite it the next week or put it on a post-it note or something like that. And it just was like, okay, this is okay, but it's not perfect. And I wanted a little more flexibility. I will say though, this layout is pretty fly, if I do say so myself. I did all of these layouts by hand on the computer in InDesign. I'm actually super proud of it. Um, and I, I wrote it and designed it to go all the way through uh, December of next year. up to January. Um, so I still have this to fall back on if the plotter doesn't work out for me, but I think it will. And this is a little bit bigger than the plotter inserts. Like the plotter itself is the size of the notebook, give or take, but the inserts in the plotter are a lot smaller. So you can see like, this is the size of the plotter insert and this is the size of the paper in this notebook. So there's a little bit less space here, but I actually prefer that because I don't, I don't need that much. Um, so like, well, I only used one week of this book, but you can see I'm like barely, I had three days off this week, but I, I really don't write a whole bunch in these, not enough to like need all of this space. And you can see here, I've got my to-do list on a transparent post-it. This is old now, but, um, that's the idea. That's what I was doing is writing my to-do list and just moving it from week to week. So I could continue to do that, but um, I found the plotter and really liked it. So I decided to go that route. And then the other thing was I wanted to show just the size comparison of the plotter versus the traveler's notebook. They're actually almost identical the Traveler's Notebook passport size is a tiny bit smaller, but not by much. So for size comparison, this is a just a plotter purchased refill. And this is the inside of the Traveler's Notebook passport size refill. So the plotter is a, I mean, there's a little bit less real estate not much though. I mean, if you're comfortable using a passport size traveler's notebook, you might be good with a plotter mini at least. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is how the refills for plotter come. 
So these are the refills that I have. And they all come in these notebooks. So you can use these a couple different ways. Um, the first way that they tell you you can use them is you can actually just write in these, like take your notes for the day, and then just tear the page out and stick it in your plotter. I don't work that way. So I actually pull pages out of the middle. I, I found out if you pull the pages from the top, eventually this cover part will detach. So I pull my pages from anywhere in the middle, I stick them in my plotter for the week, and then I take my notes there and then move them when I'm done. So I have the six millimeter ruled, which is good for notes. The two millimeter grid, now this is probably my one gripe with plotter. They don't have a writing size grid. So I like a four millimeter grid or a 3.7 millimeter grid, not two millimeter. This is meant for like drawing, architecture, that kind of thing. It's not really meant for notes. And I tried using it for note taking and what I found is that the line is just too faint and hard to follow when I'm writing. It makes it really difficult for me to figure out, like I like to write clean and pretty and in a straight line uh, and I just can't do that in, on this paper. So I have it, I'm not sure what I'm, I'll do with it at the moment. Um, I think if I were like concentrating on what I was doing, like if I was concentrating purely on writing notes, this would be fine. But because I'm usually talking with someone on Zoom and I'm like trying to quickly get things down, I just, I can't focus enough on this to make it work. So I have it, I will absolutely use it, but I'm just not sure how yet. And the other um, pad refill I have is the to-do list. And I already showed you these, but that's, they just come in a book like this and you can pull them out and stick them wherever you need them. Now this one only comes with 40 sheets and these come with 80 and I think that's totally fine. Like these to-do lists are really long. I think the only trouble you would have is if you were using like a page a day of to-do list then it might not be economical. Um, but one of the things they showed on the website is you can take like use a section for Monday's to-do list, draw a line, Tuesday's to-do list, draw a line, Wednesday's to-do list, etc. So you can use that to be a little more economical both with money and space because as I've said, the plotter doesn't hold a ton of stuff. And then the last thing is the 2023 refills. Uh, the monthly I've showed you already. The weekly schedule is interesting. I'm going to pull one of these out. I don't... I don't know how I feel about this because it's really small. Um, so let me get, I don't want to get them out of order, but this is what the weekly layouts look like. So it would be the days on the left and then you just have these lines on the right. And then this is actually your calendar. Um, I still have not figured out how to make this logical. I mean, I think so this, the month is here and then these are the days of this week and these are the days of the rest of the month, I think. So like if you flip the page, this is the first full week of January and it's got January and then the days of the week. And so if I flip, this week starts on the 9th and so it's got the 9th. And so that's how you know where, I guess that's like a little calendar thing. That's probably the least useful part of the weekly layout. Anyway, I will note that the weekly, let's see if you can see it. The weekly does have that two millimeter grid in it, but it is so faint. Like, I, I'm, I know I'm gonna struggle to use this, but I haven't found anything I like better. I certainly haven't found the layout that I made myself anywhere. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm not super enthusiastic. I do like that it has like a little weather tracker here. That's cute. And I have heard that these lines here are like a mood tracker, but I have no idea how to use that unless it's like fill in the boxes for how great you feel. Like one box is pretty bad and four boxes is pretty good. I don't know. Don't know how that works. Um, and then there's all kinds of things you can do with this layout. Like there's a line here, so you could put certain things on this side and then other things on this side. So in that sense, it's fairly flexible, but this is definitely not ideal for me. I just bought it because to be completely honest with you, 
making making these weekly layouts is kind of a nightmare because you have to you have to design and lay them out. If you're if you're going to be printing them on larger paper, so like letter sized or A4 sized paper, if you're going to print them and then cut them out, you have to be very careful about your layout because you want to print one side and then flip it over and print the other side. And so you have to be paying attention to what dates go where because it's not completely logical. You can't just put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the left and then put Thursday, Friday, Saturday on the right because when you flip over that page, you have to know what goes on this, the back of this one and what goes on the back of this one. I hope that makes sense. It's, it's not fun, I'll just tell you that. So actually what I ended up doing is, I think I might have taken it out actually. Um, before I bought the plotter refill, I did actually make a bunch of these blank without the dates and I thought I would just start writing in the dates and that would totally work for me. And in fact, I have note pages that are just this grid if I wanted to do that. There's no reason that I have to buy the plotter inserts, but I like them for the most part. So I like not having to make them myself sometimes because it becomes tedious after a while. Although I do enjoy problem solving. I had put a lot of time into these refills. So anyway, um, if I needed to, I could just go back to using these undated and then date them as I need them. That's a possibility. Um, the other thing you might have just seen is I've put in these monthly dashboards. I got these from Erin, well I got this part from Erin Ware and I actually just modified it to be what I needed. Um, so in my job we have quarterly goals and um, so I've been writing my quarterly goals in this section and then as I, as I do things that apply to the goals, I'll note those here. And then when I have my review conversations with my boss, I can just look at this and say, these are the things I did in October, for example. Anyway, um, I think that's everything I wanted to say about Plotter. I just wanted to give a little introduction. Um, this leather is called the Pueblo leather, by the way. They have a shrink leather, which is like a coated, a hard coated leather that has like a texture to it. And then they have a Lysio leather, which is... Um, super smooth and doesn't have a ton of texture. The Lysio leather would be more like this smoothness um, if you like this kind of leather. I think that's what the Lysio is similar to. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about Plotter and give us Americans a little quick overview. I do think that the larger plotters would be really nice for journaling and if you're into fountain pens, the Plotter paper is pretty darn good. It's nice and smooth, which I like. I don't like paper with a tooth to it because I'm left-handed and my fountain pens kind of catch on the paper. Um, it bleeds with your super bleedy inks, which is not uncommon, but for your sort of standard inks, you're not gonna have any trouble with this. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a little overview. If anyone has questions about Plotter, first, I will link to the Plotter USA website in my description. And by the way, this is not at all sponsored. They have no idea I'm making this video. I have nothing to do with them whatsoever. I just really like the product. Um, anyway, I will link to Plotter in the description and link to Erin Ware's Patreon as well. So if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments below and I will see you all soon. Bye.